Good morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. Now, once a week when we do the Daily Prophetic Word, we do something that we don't do other days throughout the week, and that's two things. Number one, if the Daily Prophetic Word is a benefit and a blessing to you, share it with somebody. Our URL is in our Periscope profile, and you can also go to propheticnow.com. We syndicate the Daily Prophetic Word out to YouTube, and then it gets posted in our social media streams, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Share it with somebody, the Daily Prophetic Word. If it's a benefit to you, uh, give it out to someone else that it might also encourage. Also on Fridays, we invite you to give. This is uh, not a religious hobby for Kitty and I. It's something that we came out of the business world to devote ourselves full time to raising up a relevant prophetic generation. And, and in that, like everything else, finances are involved. Sometimes you give into a need. Don't ever despise the individual or the ministry that comes to you and says, we have a need, we really want you to give. Uh, if you don't despise someone in their need, then you're not going to be despised in your need. Uh, however, there are times that you give into a need and there are other times that you give into an anointing. Uh, when you give into an anointing, it's like the widow with the two mites when she gave into the treasury of the temple as Jesus was looking in. You have to find the treasury. When you're giving into an anointing, you have to find the treasury that Jesus is looking into, waiting upon your gift. You ever thought about the fact that she was giving into the treasuries that supported those who conspired to crucify Jesus, and she got blessed anyway? They didn't need her money. But God inspired her and provoked her and what she was really doing was giving into the Christ anointing and when you give into an anointing you partake of that anointing when you give into an anointing that anointing reaches into your life and establishes the parameters in your life that that anointing has established in the life of the person that you're the ministry that you're giving into and it's something you have to do by the Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, I'm taking up an offering. But this is not the point I ask you for your credit card. you got to hear from God. Where is the treasury that Jesus is looking into, waiting on your gift? And remember, she cast in all of her living. If you don't know, just like last night, we were I was sitting in front of a Papa Apostle, and we gave an offering. And then as we were sitting there, I was just compelled. And I reached in, and I emptied my wallet. And I didn't count the money when I did it. If you don't know what it is to give at that breadth, to give what the Bible says, giving out of your penury, then you haven't experienced what it means when money moves by the Spirit. When you give like that, the plowman starts overtaking the reaper. You step into the Amos 9.13 territory where the seeds you sow produce a harvest before they hit the ground. And then you're walking in this place where you're giving it all up to God. And the only reason you survive is because he's given it back with a bigger bucket. That's the level of giving. That's the kind of giving that moved on the early church when in the midst of an occupying army, a city that was about to fall to Roman uh, soldiers. But yet there was a community of believers that were going from house to house, eating their meat with gladness, singleness of heart. None of them had any debt. All of them had all of their needs met. They were living in the economy of God in the midst of the destruction of the economy of man. You can move into that. It's, it's how you opt into apostolic culture, and it involves your finances. So I want you to, what do you give? Yeah, you got to get it from the Holy Ghost. And then you go. Go to propheticnow.com and click on, the, click on the donation link and make your gift. And remember something, that your response time to God is establishes his response time to you. The scope of your response to God establishes the scope of his response to you. I don't want 10% of anything God has for me. I want it all. 
So listen to the Holy Ghost and be led, and you'll begin to see some things happen in your life. But why do prophets always talk about money? Because the prophets, according to Second Chronicles 20, 20, are there that you prosper, and a big part of prosperity has to do with money and with finances and resources. Uh, we are here to bring you to breakthrough, and that is the most fundamental level of breakthrough. So ask the Father. Go to Prophetic Now. Click on the donation link. You can also mail your donation in to Father's Heart Ministry, Post Office Box 1915, Branson, Missouri, 65615. And again, we don't do this every single day. Uh, this is something we do once a week. It's our giving day. And so we bless you. We thank you. Thank you for our partners who are a part of uh, Father's Heart Ministry. You just make so much possible. The Father says today, I will be found in the place of stillness. All of life conspires to drown out my voice in your life with the cacophony of sights, sounds, and distractions. No matter if you withdraw to the most remote place in your life, there are still the insistent outward distractions to take your mind away from my spirit. The Father says, make it your determination to lobby against those things that take your mind and draw your heart away from me. I am here, says the Father. Talk to me. I am here, and my ear is attentive to your cry. I am here not only to receive your petitions, but to engage in discourse and wisdom at depths far deeper than you have ever experienced to this point in your walk with me. Come away to the quiet place. Wage war, says the Father, against the tyranny of the urgent in your life and the distractions of life around you. It can wait. They can wait. Life can wait as you put things on hold and have that one golden moment of silence and bliss where I break forth in your heart and your thoughts to make known to you my presence. Be presence-driven today, says the Father, and not bouncing from one crisis to the next or one vain pursuit to another. Choose not to be a Martha, scurrying about and tripping over my feet, Stop the foolishness and simply be a Mary, lost in my gaze, sitting at my feet, rejoicing in the communion of heaven that will refresh and renew you in the midst of the noise and activity around you. Now, maybe you need one-on-one -on -one ministry. It's available. Go to propheticnow.com. You can schedule a prophetic counseling appointment by phone or maybe just a pastoral call. You can request personal prophecy over your life and our team will prophesy over you. Maybe you had a dream last night and you feel like God is speaking to you and you'd like someone to help you. Uh, you can request prophetic dream interpretation. You can subscribe to the email version of the Daily Word. Kitty and I have been tasked with raising up a relevant prophetic generation. We also have the prophetic school that uh, the new, uh, the enrollment is now open for classes that start first week in May. Uh, the, there, we have actually five courses. The course number one is activating the prophetic in your life. It's a powerful set of teachings. It's six weeks of PDFs, uh, lessons, exercises that you'll actually do what we're teaching you. There are accompanying videos it's $99. There's also a payment plan. I get some people are just in a situation, even that much is, is a challenge to them. There's a payment plan if you want to take advantage of that. And uh, to, we've had over almost 2,000 people who have taken this course. It's not just for people that feel they're called to be a prophet. It's just about learning to hear God's voice, activating God's voice in your life, teaching you how to hear the voice of God with clarity. And you can go to propheticnow.com and you'll see the enrollment link and click on that. Now's the time to get that going because classes start first week in May. God bless you. Have a great day.